For today's project I'm going to attempt to make a rocket stove. But I've got only got this 50mm steel that I've got lying around. So I'm wondering whether a mini rocket stove will work just as well. So here goes. Some pieces of scrap and a little bit of grill and I've also got a bit of Rio rod that I'll use for the feet. So let's get into it. I'm going to use this short off cut for the wood feeder. So I'm just going to mark it out so that I can cut a hole in there. And also I'm going to mark out a spot for the air intake as well. With the air intake and the, the wood feed cut out, just want to put a little bit of grill in the bottom so the wood doesn't fall right through. And that'll give something uh, for the air to come up through. The bit of grill isn't ideal, but it's what I've got. I'll be using a bottom of the range Everlast TIG welder for this and set at 85 amps. And of course, a TIG welder needs pure argon to shield the welding. I love using the TIG welder because it's so nice and clean. There's no spatter and you can be really precise with it. And besides this steel is uh, very thin walled so again the TIG welder is easy to weld without blowing holes through it. As I've mentioned before on previous videos, I'm no sort of uh, expert welder, I've just taught myself. This is just a hobby, and I'm basically making this just for the fun of being able to weld something. These little magnets that I bought for a few dollars on eBay are really useful just for holding things in place because of course, with a TIG welder, you need two hands usually. Like I said, I'm no sort of expert, but these welds won't need grinding. They're good enough just as they are. I'm putting a little tray on the air intake just so that the ash doesn't fall out. But with the top cut open, it'll still be easy to uh, put a fire lighter or some paper or something in the air intake to get the wood started burning.
because I want some airflow between the pan or billy that I'm going to be putting on top of this, I'm just welding some little pieces of steel with some cutouts in it to make it a little bit wider so it's easier to put a frying pan on, but also to let the air flow. Well there you go, that took almost no time at all to build. All I have to do now is put the feet on it. And the only reason I'm putting feet on it is to just raise it up off whatever it's sitting on so that whatever it's sitting on doesn't get hot by the fire. And some pieces of uh, reinforcing rod cut on an angle will do this job just fine. With three legs on, I can now use the fourth leg to get everything nice and horizontal. There we go, stove is finished. It looks good, but will it actually work given how small it is? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Yes, I know using a firelighter is sort of like cheating, but I'm using a firelighter and so I'm cheating. Well, the frying pan actually sits quite solidly on that. I'm happy. I can't say that the wood is um, burning like a rocket. As you can see, but the pan is heating up and it is quite a heavy cast iron pan. So let's put the bacon in it. Now normally bacon needs a really hot pan to cook properly. And we can hear that it is sizzling. So it might work. Well, it's cooking. It's cooking okay, but it's not cooking anywhere near as fast as I would have hoped. But it's one thing for certain, it hardly uses any wood. I think I've only used about six little pieces. Time passed reasonably slowly. I think it took more than uh, 10 minutes to cook this bacon. And I've got some pre-prepared nice healthy white buns with tomato sauce and pepper on them ready to load up and of course there's nothing nicer than a set of healthy white buns and because like the bacon I'm a complete pig I'm having both these buns loaded up and I'm going to eat them both myself okay it took longer than I thought to cook but the end result was fine and so now it's time to enjoy the results of all my labour.
Was this project a success? Well, it did cook the bacon, but really, I think if you're going to make a rocket stove, it needs to be 100mm square tubing, rather than the 50 that I used, and that would, be, would work perfectly, I think. But still, it was fun to build, and it kept me amused, so what more could I ask for?